welcome back to my youtube channel my name is karen i'm so glad that you're here that you decided to click on this video anyway today i'm going to show you guys my full glute slash leg workout routine um this is what i do like two times a week i do like three times a week but i do this specific routine twice a week and i like to switch up a few exercises like here and there but for the most part this is what i stick to and this is what i'm like consistent with but anyways i'm gonna show you guys the clips of me doing it anyway i know lighting sucks but right now i'm at the gym recording this intro i would appreciate it if you guys gave this video a thumbs up and drop a comment down below of what your favorite exercise was or any ideas for me in the future um i'll leave my instagram and my tiktok in the description box if you want to follow me on there as well don't forget to subscribe and like this video anyway let's get into my routine this is today's gym fair so these leggings are out for me this is from fashion nova and i tucked it into the sports bra the sports bra is also out for me so it's the matching sports bra to the leggings but this is a pretty pump check Let's get into the routine. So the first exercise I like to do are barbell back squats because these require the most energy out of me. So I start off warming up with the bar and I do a little bit of stretching, but besides that, I don't do anything else. So then I rack on the weight and I do four sets of 12. Here I'm squatting 145 pounds and this day I did 145 pounds for all of my sets but i like using knee wraps because i started getting knee pain so they help a ton and the belt is just extra support but i also like going super deep with my squats or as deep as i can like you can see here After my squats, I go ahead and prepare my bar for the deadlift and here I'm putting on some chalk as well as my belt for the extra support. But for the sumo deadlift, what you want to do is keep your feet uh, shoulder width apart and your toes pointed outward. And when you are at the top, you don't have to necessarily squeeze, but you do have to keep tension on your glutes so you can feel your glutes. And with a deadlift, um, I can do some more weight than my squat. So here I have 155 pounds. So I believe I did this for my four sets of 12. Also, don't mind my little belt belly, like I like to call it, because obviously I have to tighten the belt. So it makes me look like that. <laughs> So the next exercise I perform are barbell hip thrust and I also do 4 sets of 12 with this exercise and here I'm hip thrusting 225 pounds so I do that for 12 reps and with a hip thrust you want to make sure to keep your chin tucked in so you don't want to be like looking up and also keep your shoulder blades on the bench. With the hip thrust, you also want to keep the weight on your heel if you can't feel it in your glutes. And maybe sometimes you can point your toes outward if that's how you feel it the best. But I follow my hip thrust with 30 body weight thrust. Only on some days if I'm like really feeling it, but this day I was feeling it. And yeah, I know I'm not like going all the way down, but that's because I was just dead at this point. So the next exercise I perform is the leg press and I also do this for 4 sets of 12 using a band. I saw Brett Contreras use a band in his YouTube channel and it is actually much more difficult using a band. But anyway, here I'm leg pressing 360 pounds and I've been trying to leg press a more uh, lately because I used to be able to leg press 7 plates on each side 
and I feel like I definitely have gotten a little weak so I've just been trying to get my leg press game back up now I like to use the line lever squat machine um, I also do four sets of 12 with this exercise but I started using this machine lately and I love it like I feel it in my glutes and I also feel it in my quads but this exercise like I just like doing it so yeah I've incorporated it into my workout routine but anyway um I like to just try to go all the way down and sort of squeeze at the top with this exercise and what I found that helped me with this is keeping my head like down like it allowed or like not looking up it allows me to go a little bit more deeper and yeah this uh, machine is it's kind of fun i like it so the last exercise um i perform is on the hip abduction machine now i do drop sets with this machine since i can't keep progressing since you know the weight only ends at a certain point i like to do drop sets because i've gotten so much like stronger with this machine i guess so i do 20 reps of heavy weight then i like here i'm taking like a little five second break um then i do 20 reps of medium weight and then i take like another five to ten second break and i perform my last 20 reps of light weight this drop set i do twice and sometimes when i'm feeling just a little strong i'll do it three times but for the most part i do the drop set twice and i'm dead like my glutes are on fire and it's so hard for me to stand up after i do this but yeah i love drop sets it's literally the best way to get like a super nice pump but it's also the best way to like really like just like kill that muscle group that you're trying to target so yeah try this drop set out and you will thank me later <laughs> 